Hello everyone and welcome to Chicken Police, given to me by the Wild Gentleman. Now, I don't know much about this game at all, because when it comes to games I like to go in blind, but let's take a look and see how this goes. Dead men are heavier than broken hearts. I ran out to get a pack of cigarettes, but I left my wallet at home. Well, so some cars are on just in case yeah, I'm talking. That's me. Talking as well. so I'm getting things. old. <clears throat> my name is Sonny. Sonny Featherland. Sonny Featherland. An investigator for 20 Best years. Man. And once the star of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department. One half of the legendary Chicken Police. What? But buying a pack of smokes is Sorry, more than I can handle right now. Uh -huh. Maybe I should just lay low. Yeah, I'll do that. You want the, the most colorful place in the wilderness. For all the gods, what bullshit. The last clucking color left this city years ago. And slowly I'll turn gray too. Oh, okay. That's not good. <laughs> I'm getting James Bond vibes now. Paint it red. Still, what do I expect? We're living in a vast experiment. And don't even notice that everything got experience. clucked up a long time ago. We believe in this wonderland of peaceful coexistence. Wolves and sheep. Reminds chickens me a lot of and hounds. City. Yeah. I really want to watch Sure. City. Why not? It's just ridiculous. The dog eats the chicken. It's, it's in our nature. I'm not propping up the illusion anymore. 121 days, and it's over. Retirement. So you're gonna lay low before retirement? Is that what I'm Oh, What could that possibly so go wrong? A lot could go wrong. In the space of two days. No, 21 days or is it two days? I've forgotten already. Go me. <laughs> I just got Roger Rabbit vibes there. You know when um Ah oh, crap. My office lock is a piece of shit if a dame can pick it. You got something against she stood in the darkness. The light painted stripes on her body. It whispered secret little things like Zelda, that were never there in the first place. But she was no zebra. Reality was just a light switch Pretty away. Sure she's a gazebo. A gazebo? Elizabeth well, or Charlotte. Gazelle. I was sure she'd gazebo? have a sophisticated sounding name. She had a bygone look in her eyes. Older than this ancient building, and perhaps the whole city itself. Or maybe I'm maybe just she's drunk. An old soul. But she was the first womanly thing in my place for a long no, time. No, no. So I had to give her a chance. That the 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 innuendos just then are a little um hmm, okay. Who is this dame anyway? Skipping and what the, the um, cluck is she doing in my apartment on New Year's Eve? I'm getting a mix of um LA Noir uh themes here. And a bit of um, Blade Runner, if anyone's ever played that one before. Let me introduce myself. My name is Deborah, Miss Deborah Ibanez. I always say Ibanez wrong. You're mistaken, ma'am. Oh, but she didn't oh, say anything. really? Please enlighten me, Mr. Featherland. I'm not a private eye. I'd recommend Philip... M uh, I mean, oh? Mr. Philmar Lowe instead of me. He's a nice guy. Why did you mess up just then believe me mr featherland it's not an accident i came to you i love the voice acting look already. miss i work for the police Especially. and i'm currently on leave i couldn't accept private commissions even if i wanted oh. to not even from a classy dame like you am i that easy to read also has anyone noticed that the characters like they have animal heads and i'm guessing tails maybe but they have like human hands that's, That's my job. It's interesting. But tell me, since you've invited yourself in, no. would you like a drink? Close? I don't... I don't usually drink. You sure about it? Well, I've got to have one. And it'd be rude of me to drink alone. So, maybe some sherry? If you insist. But bourbon, please. 
You just said you don't drink, so why would you choose bourbon? Uh, thank the wild ones. That's all I have. To be honest, I don't like bourbon myself. What a coincidence. So come on, spill it from the beginning. Don't spill the drink. Drink the drink. That looks like a romantic rendezvous. Please don't, please don't get ideas in my head. Alright, so we have a codec here. Deborah. Let's see what it says. Deborah Ivanas. Impala Apiceros Melamempus? I completely butchered that, didn't I? Gender female, special feature, pretty and fragile, nothing too special. Personal info. She runs errands for her employer, a sophisticated lady, but I don't think she's from a particularly wealthy or influential family. So let's talk. That's better. Now, if I understand correctly, your mistress is receiving threats. What kind of threats, exactly? It's a very strange matter. First, there were letters. Then it came printed on a wine bottle's label, sent right. as a gift. Hmm. Then carved into a brick, thrown through the window. And ah. finally, they painted it on the wall of the house in giant red letters. Ain't it red, ladies and gentlemen? I think it's time to dig a little deeper. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some routine questions. Uh -huh. Please, that's why I'm here. I don't like the way you said please. New function question. Is there a new function? Ah. The victim, a lady, is a target of some strange threats. All of them are written. So, Deborah, question time. Focus on what you know about the suspect. Is he or she suspicious? Concentrate on that. Subject Jane Doe. J John Doe. This fella is rather suspicious. I need to concentrate on that. Focus, suspicious. Impressions. Oh. He is suspicious. I am suspicious. Why are you suspicious? <laughs> I don't know why that, that amused me just then. <laughs> Gather impressions from the suspect. Every impression adds a new question mark. A new impression, questions, so many options. Detective Nita is your best friend. It shows how well the questioning is going. Keep it on the positive side, okay? Blah, 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 blah. I like that. 100%. I must be cautious and smart. This dame seems shy, which I can use to my advantage. Hmm. But I must be careful about what I say to her, or I can scare her off. Let's start gently, and when the time comes, we can go in hard. The innuendos are brilliant in this game. Who exactly Who are, you? are you, ma'am? I was gonna say that. Um, I'm not somebody important, Mr. Featherland. Right. You're important enough to deal with such a delicate matter, right? I carry out the wishes of my employer, nothing more. This means simple paperwork most of the time. I guess it's one of those times where I swim You've been thrown times. into deep water, sweetheart. Tell me, can you even swim? So he says to, to, to not scare her, but I sound Believe threatening me, to me. This is just as unpleasant for me as it is for you, if not even more. Well, I'm the one who's going to be doing the dirty work and looking into this. Alright, Deborah Ivanas. I must be cautious and smart. This stains it. Try. Yeah, it doesn't work very well. Um, let's try this one. You're not very confident. Are you sure you're alright? Yes. Excuse me. I'm just a bit nervous. I've never done anything like this before. <coughs> Breaking into the apartments of strangers isn't that big a deal. Some people do it as a hobby. Okay, now you're making it sound like she's a crook. Please That's don't make fun of me, Mr. Featherland. This is hard for me as it is. Right, you're right. right. Sorry. Yeah. Even I'd apologize for that. Okay. Let's see. Why Why would this be important? Tell me what your star sign... Tell me what's your star sign to be. No, let's try this one. Did you come alone? All by I'll yourself? Focused. I took the subway, then the tram, and then I walked. It wasn't easy to find this place, and to be honest, I had to be discreet. Discreet, eh? You know, her journey kind of reminds me of how I get got to uni. I'd have to take, um, I'd have to take a train, then a bus, and yeah. then walk the rest of well, it. Well, I think I'm starting to get the picture. Are you? Because I'm not. This is 
quite unpleasant for me. I'm sure it is, honey. Why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer herself? My employer is Miss Natasha Katsenko. She hasn't Love been leaving her home lately. Only if she really has to. Natasha Katsenko. How so? It's a pussycat. Miss Natasha is afraid. She's scared because of those unwanted messages. And everyone knows who she is. Do they? I don't know her. So she's that kind of woman. Um, I don't like what I that don't know what you mean. Went. Of course you do, Deborah. Thank you, by the way. We're finally getting somewhere. Are we? We avoided the point long enough. Deborah's hiding something, no question. Let's focus on that. Are you talking to me or yourself? Okay, let's see. What do you want from me? Me? Oh, yes, don't you. be silly, Deborah. I mean your employer. I was just talking to myself out loud. <laughs> well, Miss Katsenko thinks you're a great detective, and you're also reliable. That's why I came. And how does Katsenko Did she like also me? give you the lockpick? <laughs> Please, could you let this go? I'm really embarrassed. Sorry, sweetheart. I'm just teasing you. As soon as I saw you, you were forgiven. Are you flirting with your... That's that's very nice of you. Are you flirting with her? It has nothing to do with being nice, Deborah, but you're welcome. Uh, okay, let's see. Don't you... Don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? I think it's suspicious. Look I'm getting such a rabbit vibes right now. I'll it's explain insane. everything. I have no doubt about that. You look just the type, sweetheart. No, no offense. offense. I'll take that as a compliment. Or maybe I'll act like I haven't heard it. You see, we're starting to understand each other. Huh. Okay. If you won't come clean, what's the point of all this? Come on, Deborah. But, Mr. Featherland. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm way too old for this game. Please, just think again. For me and my mistress's sake. Hmm. Tell me, Deborah, why should I believe you at all? Yeah, come on, Debs. Because my mistress trusts you. And should why that does she be trust enough? You? If you really like what she thinks you are, then yes. Damn, yeah. what can I say to that? Look, I didn't mean to back you up against the wall. Sure you did. You have a way with words, sweetheart. Did you ever want to be a cop? <laughs> no, not for the world. <laughs> Smart answer. Being a cop is hard. Where am I? I'm plus ten. That's good, right? Be honest and tell me what you're so afraid of. You know, Mr. Featherland, my mistress's partner is Hobart Wessler. Or as most people know him. Ibn Wessler. The Kingpin. That's a match. Exactly. That's not good. I'm guessing. Feathery gods, help me. Wait, so the cat is going out with a rat. Okay. So you get it now. The secrecy. To put it mildly, I think I understand it all. Wessler. This little piece of the puzzle changes everything. Let's see. Ah, oh, come on. Decent cop. Question task 9. Focus accuracy 60%. That's how you do it, partner. Not quite like old times, but you've still got it. The old rooster still remembers some tricks, eh? Ah, oh, okay. 60% isn't too bad. I'll, I'll take that. I suppose when I play the game a bit more, I'll get better at it. Why don't you take it to the police? Just go there and file a report. Photos, flashing lights, fingerprints. You know the drill. The evidence is very clear. Even a moderately talented detective could easily wrap this case up. Or just try the phone. Triple five, triple one. That's an American one, isn't it? I wouldn't know. I'm in the UK, so we don't have numbers like that. Well, okay. Ooh, let's see. I can take my inventory now. Alright, let's see. This one. Nice briefcase. I know Molly Ooh. 
very nice well. Place, Russia. Please note this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Treat her as gentleman. N. I felt like I'd been hit on the back of my head with a blackjack. Reality tilted. Mommy. I was like, good gods. What was her name doing there? I glanced at the opposite wall with the well-worn picture frames. Like an eternally dark hole in the wall. A missing piece. She was wearing a light silk dress and Take singing it. a lullaby. Take the waves caressing her beautiful Take long it. legs. Ooh, la la. Why, Molly? Why now? Mr. Ferdinand? Oh, what are you doing, dude? Santino, are you all right? What the hell is this supposed to mean? Love the old gangster style voices. I don't know voices. anything, Mr. Santino. My mistress told me to give this to you. She said you'd understand. Don't you? Oh, of course I understand, Miss Ibanez. I get it very well. But this case is becoming more and more confusing. It's starting to look like blackmail. To be fair, it does kind of sound like blackmail now. Blackmail? Blackmailing. Don't play People innocent with, with me. But. All right. When can I visit? Visit? Me? Why does she keep thinking it's herself? Not you. Something very strange. Miss Katsenko. Oh, yes. You can find her at the Tsar Club. Didn't you tell me she's not the social kind? Yeah. That yep. she's especially unsociable? Or does she only like loud and crowded clubs? No, she's really not like that. But she owns the place. Ah, fair enough. She owns it. Judging by the flyer, it must be a very busy club. Especially on New Year's Eve, right? I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Miss Katsenko, but there's one small problem, Mr. Um, Featherland. What would that be? Let me guess. Mr. Wessler better not know about my visit. Exactly. How did you know? Loving that jazz music in the background. It's so fitting with this game. Just had to point it out. 20 years experience, ma'am. Oh, and please, call me Sunny. It was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. I mean... Sunny. She does exactly I'll what I'll talk do. about the rest with Ms. Katsenko in person. Oh. A good friend of mine would be happy to take you home if you'd like. I'd appreciate that, Sunny. You pass on. So let's see what we've got on um okay, clues. I've already read that. Okay. The mysterious messenger, Mr. Brett Ivanaz, employer, is a certain Miss Natasha Katsenko. The employer Natasha's current significant other is the infamous gangster Ivan Wessler. I'll find Natasha at a circle. Natasha must know my wife Molly. Ah, it's his wife. Gotcha. From somewhere. Or perhaps she has very good informants. I must find out what the connection is. Alright, let's see what's this about her now. She's afraid and she's secretive. Or she's just secretive and an outstanding actress. In any case, not everything she told me is true. I'm pretty sure about that. Okay, so she's still withholding information. Her employer currently bolsters the ranks of Ivan Wesler to put him off. This explains a cloud of fear surrounding Miss Ivan Wesler. Let's see what we've got about Natasha now. Felis Katis. Female. She has remarkably green eyes and she is definitely in trouble. So am I. She is the employer of Deborah Ivanas. Allegedly, she's receiving serious threats. Okay. Currently, the girlfriend of the notorious gangster Ivan Wesley. This explains a lot of things, mainly the excessive secrecy. She owns a cell phone. Okay. Uh, ah, this must be the um, oh, dude we got a call. Lewis C. Hayward, rabbit. I'm not even going to try that one. <laughs> Male. An old friend of mine who is stuttering heavily when he talks. Okay. Lewis is the owner of the once reputable Atlas Hotel and a good friend of mine. At the moment, he's my landlord. It's only the two of us living in this undeniably enormous hotel. He's crazy about detective stories and he gladly helps me whenever I ask. That's nice of him. Lewis's number is 555932. Let's remember that one. 555932. Herbert Ivan Wessler, Rattus. Good looking, charismatic, and a clucking gangster. 
pretty sure that was meant to say something else there. One of the most well-known gangsters of Clawburn. Real estate mogul, bank director, museum owner, distiller, smuggler and information broker. And that's only the half of what I've heard about him. He has his dirty little paws everywhere in the cities. I'm not Oh, he sounds like that. Alright. Five 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 nine three two. Oh, okay, thanks for the reminder. So five 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 nine three two. I had um, a family friend who used to have a rotary phone like that. I always got my finger stuck. Hey, somewhere. Lewis, am I bothering you? His voice sounds familiar, but I'm not sure why. Could you come over? I've got a favor to ask if you're not busy. For you, anything. Just a minute. Fair enough. Lewis arrived a few minutes later. He lived in the rooms above, so it wasn't difficult getting here. Not to mention that he's a rabbit. It was a quick hop. The that Atlas fun. Hotel was Very his inheritance. Fun. It was once a well-renowned place, but not anymore. The last economic crisis ruined it. And now, besides me, he was the only resident of this enormous place. Hmm. So, the hotel went bust. And now only you two live here. Okay, must be huge if it's just you two now. Thanks for being so quick, Lewis. Can you drive Miss Ibanez home? I have some things to take care of. Of oh, course, Sonny. You know anything for you. So any start at the Thank beginning. Thank you for being okay. so considerate, Sonny. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Well, if you if he's like the cops in the old movies, it's always the dames that are important until Goodbye, they're then. proven to be villains. So long, Deborah. I really want to watch Sin City now. Oh. Is this my drawer? She doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun, but you never know. My last cigarette. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have a light, pal. Smoking's bad for you, Sonny. My wallet and my badge. The wallet is real. The badge ain't. Mm. Chief Blood Boil took mine. Pretty sure it's so I got to... this one out of a pack of cornflakes, just in case. Uh, isn't that impersonating cops, then? Yeah, I know the Before kind of I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. Yeah, like a one. And there's only one bird in the city I can trust. My ex-partner, Marty. He's going to be at the station. I can only hope he'll be willing to talk to me. That doesn't sound good. That sounds like something bad happened to him. Okay, so I'm guessing these two are going to disappear. Oh, this is an I haven't dusted you off in a while, partner. Looks like I may be needing you now. Yeah, is there any bullets in it? Oh man, I totally get you. Um, okay. Ironic, but ever since I've been on furlough, with only my fake badge sitting in my cabinet, I feel more like a cop than I ever had before. More like a Clawville cop, anyway. Huh. Interesting. It's time to learn more about something here. Um. <clears throat> Main scenes move the story forward. These scenes also determine which locations open up or close down. You need to complete all of these if you want to beat the game. So straightforward. Limited scenes are open for a specific duration, which is determined by the main story progression. If you are a completionist, be sure to visit all of them before you move on to the next main scene. Unfortunately for you guys, I am a completionist. Or at least I try to be. Closed scenes cannot be reached for the time being. This state will often change throughout the story progression and can be temporary or permanent. Top tip, pick the next main scene if you are absolutely sure you don't want to visit any of the available limited scenes anymore. You may not be able to visit them later. Okay, so, so one, one way for it. Oh, I love how that looks. Is that actually... It was New Year's Eve. Is that... And I was driving, half drunk. Risking my whole life's work, but still, it didn't feel any different. Oh, Every day lovely. was the same, and the 121 days it I had left till my retirement just, seemed like an eternity. When I look out I the window the of the hotel room I call home, 
I see the same thing every day. A woman in a red nightgown dances slowly in circles to smooth music. I'm getting James Bond vibes now. The nine o'clock show with a glass of cheap bourbon and the red gown with the silent music. In the meantime, the proud city of Clawville is slowly eating itself alive. And we're still here, with nothing left to lose but our sanity, while others, the smart ones, had already gone. Molly. Does her name really upset me this much? I want to know what happened between him All and Molly. All those years of solitude, and I still jump without question every time I hear it. And then there's Marty, my ex-partner, who hates me. But I know I have to speak with him. Is this, no matter um, what. I love triangle going on. Why do I feel Marty like Marty? the past is watching me on this goddamn night? So many questions are popping up already, and I love it. It's actually drawing me in. I want to know what's going on. And I just played the intro, apparently. I knew where to find Marty. At the station, we'd always draw straws about holiday duty. Marty never joined in. He always took the New Year's Eve shift, even though he had someone to go oh, home to. Oh, so Marty's taken. I understood. Ten years ago, we survived the night the press called the Bloody oh, New Year. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That's what Forgotten that's by Clawville, but not by us. We both left parts of ourselves behind that night. So something changed your lives forever. And as per usual, people will know, know about it. They'll learn about it. They'll be involved, but not as involved as the people who are actually there at um, Ground Zero, as it is. But anyway, that is all I have time for, ladies and gentlemen. This game is looking fantastic. I am sorry that I didn't review it sooner. Um, this is definitely a game I will have to get back to um, again because I really, really want to know what's going on. And I also want to know about Molly because for some reason I'm very interested about Molly and her um, situation with uh, Sunny and potentially Marty as well. But anyway, if you love the content I put out and would like to see more, link to my copy is in the description below. Um, remember to add a bit of milk, a bit of sugar. You'll keep me happy if you add those two important ingredients in. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.